Good morning. I'm Small Biz David, and first let me say thank you for sending this video to five baby boomers that you know who are looking to supplement their income. Why do I think uh, that's a good idea? But uh, three years ago, I decided that I needed to supplement uh, my monthly income, uh, which was going to be Social Security, uh, with some type of additional cash flow. And the question became, well, really, what do I want to do uh, at this point in my life? Uh, do I want to start a whole new business again, uh, as I've done uh, several times in my lifetime? Or uh, do I want to create a system that generates cash flow because of what I have been able to put on an optimized, what I call very Googleized landing page in a community that I was going to develop? I call it davidsbarter.com community. The foundation of the community was going to be built upon my 40 plus years as a small business owner and the experiences that have gone along with me in those 40 plus years. Successes, failures, but continually moving on. Understanding that uh, if something is supposed to work, that entrepreneur spirit within you will somehow find a way to make it work. I started this most current journey, as I said, about three years ago and started to develop what I'm calling a social marketing, social tech work application. You know, a lot of times today when people refer to uh, social media, uh, they say that's where marketing is, to social media. And for the most part, I feel that is a, an accurate statement. But I feel that social media is only a part of the whole. Now, we certainly want to target various social media with our marketing efforts because that's where people spend time. That's where people communicate with one another. Let's take the best example of all, uh, and that's Facebook. Facebook has one billion profiles of people who have given Facebook information about themselves so that they could have their own page or two or three or four or five, whatever it might be, and post information about themselves, posting it to their friends, uh, posting it to folks who maybe ultimately one day will become a friend. I don't have to tell you that Facebook has been a phenomenal success. The thing that is the most amazing to me about Facebook is how, man, how much time people spend in the Facebook community on their page or on somebody else's page. More than 500 million people spend over three hours a day on Facebook. That's just a mind-boggling number. So we need to target communities of people. And how do you find those people and how do you communicate with those folks? It all depends on how they want to be communicated with, too. Don't end a sentence in a proper preposition. Obviously, if they have a Facebook profile, they're telling the rest of the world that's how they want to communicate with the world is in that Facebook environment. Quite honestly, Facebook has not uh, worked very well for me. Uh, in a personal sense, uh, I stopped using Facebook when 
somebody very viciously uh, pose some horrible information uh, on my Facebook page. So I stopped using it. Couldn't delete it, but I just I haven't been there in over two years. I developed a Facebook fan page two or three years ago where the ultimate purpose was to build and develop a page or two where folks could come and learn about my business or I could force information out to try to get people uh, to my Facebook fan page. I don't spend much time doing that quite honestly. As a matter of fact the only real time that I spend when I am done with this YouTube because of some technology that we have put in place the moment I am done and, and, and post it, it goes off to my Facebook community as well as uh, my Twitter community as well as my LinkedIn community and just tells them that I, it gives them a link to the video. And that's really all that I need. So we have this social marketing community that we have developed and we are targeting baby boomers. I became a baby boomer in the third year of baby boomerism that started in 1946. I was born in 1949, so I've been around since the third year of baby boomerism. And I know from the friends I have, the people that I talk to, that there are many folks who share the same concerns. Uh, share the same types of circumstances that I do. And so in my desire to develop a supplemental income for myself by generating cash flow on optimized, Googleized landing pages that I have spent the last three years developing, I am just merely showing baby boomers how to do the same things for yourself as I have done for myself. You have to use your subject matter your expertise, uh, whatever is your passion, and share that in a way that you might be able to generate some cash flow for yourself. Baby boomers who want to become a charter member to the Small Biz David Foundation, and I urge you to go to smallbizdavidfoundation.org. That's our homepage for our Small Biz David Foundation. Uh, and you can learn more about what it is that we are trying to accomplish. That we certainly want to engage as many baby boomers as we can to do the same kind of things that I do. I will mentor you. I will mentor those baby boomers how to do those things. And once we get, get it going for you, then we are asking you in the foundation to share that knowledge, that experience, that expertise with a student of entrepreneurship. Someone who has yet to get out into the world uh, and build a business. Well, uh, they could be in the business world and just somehow have never fostered and nurtured that entrepreneur spirit that they have from within. They for sure would be a student of entrepreneurship. And our foundation has developed student entrepreneurship development training. Essentially the same training that the baby boomer will, will, will be mentored on from myself in live interactive sessions. So too, they will then mentor a student of entrepreneurship. It's what we want to do in the foundation as our commitment to the Startup America Partnership, which we committed to in January of 2012. On that day, January 31st, 2012, I actually was online doing live internet streaming. And from this screen, uh, we watched an announcement that came from the White House so that there was a partnership being formed between the American people and private business. That day, I committed 
any resource that I possibly could of the foundation so that we could do our part in the Startup America partnership. Because the entrepreneurship pledge that I took, and I share with you uh, often, there it is, I am, it's incumbent upon me to share my experiences, the successes and the failures, to give back to the community, to the society that has been so good to me for over 40 years. So today, my friends, if you are watching this YouTube, I ask you to please send it to five baby boomers that you know who would be interested in becoming charter members of the Small Biz David Foundation. As part of that charter membership, they will be with Small Biz David in a Google Plus Hangout on Air, sharing their expertise and their knowledge with other folks so that they could start to build an audience for themselves the same way that I have built an audience for me. Thank you for taking the time today and thank you for sending this video to five baby boomers who want to supplement their monthly income with additional cash flow.